Hey there, this is Mary DeMuth, and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray you through the Bible verse by verse on this seventh day of August. I hope you're having a great day. Um, This podcast is brought to you primarily by and on the backs of and the hearts of the patrons of the show. So if you'd like to be considered uh, to be not considered, but if you feel like the Holy Spirit is uh, prompting you to help uh, get this show into the hands of more folks around the world and to pay for uh, the engineering and what Kristen does as well, uh, which is help with some social media. William is our engineer. Uh, you can go to patreon.com slash pray every day. There's a couple different levels there. At the $10 level, you'll receive one of my paintings for free. This is something I actually sell on my Etsy shop, so it does convey value. And at 25, you get a secret podcast um, that no one else hears. And that's usually um, of me uh, personally uh, recording every month uh, fresh, but just a teaching that God has laid on my heart. So I hope that blesses you. At the end of today's episode, I'm going to read some of the names of those folks who have been faithful Patreons. So stay tuned for that. All right, we're reading uh, in Acts 16, and we are in verses 22 through 30 in the New American Standard Version of the Bible. This is what it says. The crowd rose up together against them, and the chief magistrates tore their robes off them and proceeded to order them to be beaten with rods. When they had struck them with many blows, they threw them into prison, commanding the jailer to guard them securely. And he, having received such a command, threw them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in stocks. But about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns of praise to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. And suddenly there came a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison house were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were unfastened. When the jailer awoke and saw the prison doors opened, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, supposing that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul cried out with a loud voice saying, do not harm yourself for we are all here. And he called for lights and rushed in and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. And after he brought them out, he said, sirs, what must I do to be saved? Mind if I pray for you. This is one of my favorite stories, Lord, and I'm so grateful that I have the privilege of praying through it today. Thank you. Um, It is always a privilege to pray. It is always a privilege to talk to you. It's always a privilege to have a relationship with you and to share my heart with you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for every person listening today that they also have that same unique, powerful privilege to talk to you. Lord, you already know everything that's on our hearts. Why not just connect with you with our words? (laughs) And so that's what prayer is, is just talking to you and letting you know what's on our hearts. And so we do that today. Lord, we see here just this The consequence of following you is not always blessing. Sometimes it's imprisonment, sometimes it's persecution. And in this case, um, I love what I see Paul and Silas doing in the midst of it. They were not grumbling. They were not lamenting. They were not wringing their hands. No, they were praying like we're doing right now. And they were singing praise to you and everybody else was listening. And so Lord, Maybe someone today listening feels like they're in a prison of some sort, but you have called them to pray and sing. And Lord, we need them to pray and sing because there's a world that's um, where there's an onlooking world wanting to realize and to see that we can we can praise you and pray to you in the midst of the most difficult circumstances. And that is actually a witness to the world. So Lord, help us today, even in our darkest dungeons, that we would pray to you and sing praises to you. Lord, we thank you for this deliverance. We thank you that um, Paul was kind-hearted to this jailer and did not permit him to take his life. And Lord, as I, even just in that little phraseology there, I do lift up my friend today who is contemplating taking their life. Everything seems hopeless. To this jailer, he thought his life was over. He was ready to kill himself because of the circumstances in his life and his despair. And yet Paul stopped him. And so, Lord, I pray that you would stop the hand of the person right now, in Jesus' name, who is thinking of taking their life. Lord, they have such a beautiful, powerful life, and it is not time to end it. Um, 
Lord, thank you for doing that. I praise you ahead of time for answering that prayer and for sustaining somebody who needs to be sustained on this earth. I say these words to them, do not harm yourself for we are all here. And that is true. Lord Jesus, thank you for yet another day of life. It is precious to us and we're so grateful for the breath in our lungs. Help us to live it to your fullest on the seventh day of August 2020. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to Pray Every Day. As promised, I'm going to read some of the names of the Patreons of Pray Every Day. Here are some. And as I do, and as you're listening to this, pray for them. Pray that God would bless them and uh, you know help them to pray in the dark and to praise in the dark. Here they are. Noel Young, Sheila Gregoire, Ralph Chen Green, Chris Morris, Amy Young, Jody Nisnik, Martha Nemec, Chuck Roberts, Hope Harris, Susan Meisner, Tiffany Whitaker, Robin Marie Hill, Aaron Kincaid, Adrian Klager, Leanne Garfius, Leela Lofgren, Kathleen Fowler, Lynn Dickey, Kathy McNeff, Roxanne Milker, Kate Kimball, Jerrianne Nellestein, and Elizabeth Perry. Next time I talk about this, I'll read some more. Those, that's just a section of it. So thank you to all of you who are supporting the podcast. I appreciate you.